Rasta. Yes, um, that is Count as the Animistic Revelation, it named Rasta Reggae. And you know that them say International Reggae Day start yesterday and they want to turn it into International Reggae Month. And that's Count as the Animistic Revelation of Rasta Farai, Rasta Reggae. And Monday morning, the eve of the International Reggae Day, Monday morning, 4 o'clock, the house burned down up at Johnson Town in the east on the hillside. Burn up the whole account as the instrument them and the whole time sheet music and all kind of thing amplifier all kind of thing burn up up there but let's hear back because at least they recorded it and they recorded it fortunately let's hear it again right up Rasta Reggae count as it Real Rasta <laughs> Yes, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. As I said, count as the instrument, some of the instruments that play that same music there. They were burnt in a fire, wipe out everything, including the sheet music. And the amp and... Where else again? Burn up. The amp, amp and um, drums and DVD, tablet, phone photographs, vital photographs of the mystic revelation of Rastafari, male and female. Because you know, a lot of females are supporting and or the subject of the music is them inspire the music. But so it is. Well, they're going to play this one here now because the little girl who is missing and have the whole nation in mourning. Have the whole nation in mourning for her presence. Not for her life, you know, because we pray that her life the life of our body is still intact. The little girl who the whole nation are mourn for our presence and our whereabouts is our birthday today. Just like is the birthday of my first male child. My first male child, Ali Small, Raphael, Ali Maya Hu, and Bassa Small birthday today same way and we're going to ask Judy Mott to help us hush baby mother not hush up your mouth now just hush hush baby mother straight Yes, well, I'm going to play. That one is for the baby who birthday today. But for my son now who birthday today, and all the youth, them, you know, the father of your nurture, the male youth especially, make them grow some backbone like a man, and not just front bone alone. Prince Buster, godson, hear this, some, 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 some guidance, Prince Buster, godson. I'm going to play this on the next one. Also for my brethren, Mr. and Mrs. Hutchinson, out of England, back to Jamaica. Uh, uh, my brethren and sister, Miss and Mrs. Hutchinson, out of England and back to Jamaica. Because Miss Hutchinson cousin birthday today. She's in California, but she listen to the program sometime. And it's our birthday today. Yes, it's our birthday today. And um, we went play this year to like how Miss Hutchinson love Prince Buster so much. This and the next one, but this is especially for my son, Godson, Prince Buster. May I tell you about him? Reggae day start here, son. And before, start from Minto and the drums of Africa, where they can tear down and burn down the key and peace. Burn down the great house. Godson. Godson, take heed to the laws of my father. That is a Godson by virtue of Prince Buster. Guidance to him, youth. 
Not only Godson, you know, you know sometimes you have a Godfather who, you know, friends have a family who help the children train up in a way. But me as a father, different from Godfather. Me play that for my son, God, for my son, first son, Alice Small. And um, for his mother, Sandra Small, who she reproduced me. I couldn't, I can't do them thing by myself. No man can do that. And two male can't do it. And two female can't do it. She reproduced me and gave me Ali. Not as a possession, as an inheritance. And I went to the next Prince Post again for Mr. Hutchinson and Mrs. Hutchinson and the cousin of Mr. Hutchinson, Christine Martin in California. This one is Prince Buster again singing about him children. Three of him children, him have more than that. And when we go to JC, we catch them here you now. Jamaica College, uh, that was study at Jamaica College. Danny and Elaine and Lorraine, three of them children must sing about him you now. You think it's easy? That's how we make the music in Jamaica. Every music significant and entertain at the same time. Here I tell about Danny and Elaine and Lorraine. And the woman who reproduced him three times. Here is now. Danny and Elaine and Lorraine. Prince Buster, straight. I'm so sorry, it's Danny and Dane and Lorraine. And you know, say I'm a brethren, clog up Dane Robert Tom. I find it come give me a JC, you know. And it, it, it's because I'm naming that. Danny and Dane and Lorraine. I'll go again, straight. Yes, and I saw them Bill, saw them Bill Reggae, you know, life experiences and relief, comic relief and life experiences and the rites of passage at different times in their life, stages in their life, like what the, the Browns, that musical folk singer group from America, them thing about the three bells, you know, three different important parts of their life where bell ring for you. When you're born, and when you got married and when they, for whom the bell tolls, then, then somebody passes in their community and they ring the church bell. And people say, who would they ring the bell for? Who did? That's why some of the right advise you and say, anytime anybody dead, you just sympathize with the family because are you the same one? It tolls for. Because everybody pass away is a little bit house pass, so everybody born is some house man. So anytime you hear the bell ring, don't ask for whom the bell, the bell tolls. The bell toll for you. And the trumpet blow for you. Whether you are labor right or you are ring bell or the trumpet are blow by PNP. All good things is for everybody. Not for you alone. And all unfortunate or sad things, you're sharing them too. Them sad but they are not bad luck. There's no such thing as bad luck. Well, go and play the next piece of music. Listen to Paul Robson here now. Can we have this one here? By Paul Robson. My curly-headed baby boy, we have that one. Curly-headed baby boy. Can we take the African music and even the European music from other places and inspire our music? We're not parochial. Parochial means like a parish cut off from everybody else. We are not cut off from everybody else. Parochial. We feed up on all cultures, all time, all kind of different things. So Paul Robinson, that great and brilliant sportsman, scholar, athlete, all kind of thing. Liar. Opera singer. I don't know what I'm doing though. Do. Must be on the racing car and drive. Paul Robson got a like a rendition of this. I mean I played for my son too. And I already the youth them. Not only male. But it only named my curly headed baby boy. And give thanks to the mother who deliver. Send we send for the boy, you know. We send up a message to the boy and a little more nine months later the lady deliver him. And no, no, start deliver his children. Start deliver your one. But um, it's a lady deliver my one. Correlated baby boy. Straight from Paul Robson. Yes, 
Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. I did not um, introduce the program the usual way. I'm your host, Jerry Small, and you know we broadcast live from the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies. And we are heard all over. And um, yes, I got to pass through again the, the usual Tuesday night session down at King's Plaza. Down at them. But it was so good. And the thing about it, you know, it's a young people scene, you know, and yet it's a elder scene. So you find all ages of people, especially young people, are enjoying themselves. And, uh, yeah, I tell you, from east, west, north, and south also. I've got to talk about, but you have something to talk about too, so let's go to the phone. Good morning, and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Hello. Yes, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, not bad, sir. Yes, sir. Um... I'm um, only well, a vintage person, you see? Yes, sir. And I've got a camera. It, it, I believe it's probably the first type of portable camera that can be carried in a bag. Um. I want that. Can we, we can just put him back, please? Him gone? Oh, my. I mean, am I fault? You know, you know what? Uh, two things I do want to say. Um, one of the things I do want to say, I'm saying, I call up enough people name and when I'm recognizing that thing, I'm not name dropping. You know, when people call up, never make a note of them important. You know, some I know Kevin Williams, where you used to go to Casey. I know him, you know. And people rate me through, I know Kevin, you know. People name drop all about the place. And you know, some I know Miss Joyce. And Cracky, where you used to sell some big stick herb. Where you can cut it in a six, and you make all six split out of it. Because one half can make split, three split. And people say, why you know Cracky? Megaton, you call them the big stick of ganja, Megaton, you know, because it come like one of the big nuclear bomb. And you drop name all about and people say, boy, boy, you know people, you man. So I wasn't name dropping, but I just a little thing there. Him gone? We really need to hear back from that brother. Whoever know him, recognize him, boys, please ask him to call back again. We're so glad for him. I was going to ask him, if, yeah, I think I did ask him if it was the first time call. Good morning. And welcome to Straight Up, hello. Hello. Sir? Good morning. Yeah, good. As I tell you before, that you're the, <coughs> you're the man that can come down to everybody level, right? I don't, not down. I am, I am, I am at everybody level. I am on the level already. Yes, thank you very much. Anyway, what I want to say is that I get a message from God Himself for for for, for the government of Jamaica. Oh, you're sending it via me. No, but look. Yeah. Hear me, I want to read something that I want to tell ask you with a figure of speech how oh, you understand it. Yes, yes. From Corinthians twelve yes. verse three. Yes. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speak by the Spirit of God calling Jesus Christ a curse, and that no man can say Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. What I want you to define for me is whether in that scripture we said he said it, no man can call Jesus a curse if he have the spirit. Yeah. And no man can say Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Now, to me, I want to define to me and the listener, if the Holy Ghost and the spirit is not the same thing, but according to the scripture, it looks like it defined them. I want to find out with a figure of speech. Ah, he said, go, I, I, you say, you're a school of thought. I want, because you're a very balanced school of thought. I forgot to digest all of you, say, holy person, like well. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. All right, what I'm trying to say, I was listening to Dean Jackson, um, uh, one, one program that she had about the street gear, them, the street gear, them, right? The underground one, them, the one who live in that drain. Yeah. In that yeah. drain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was saying, God, what can I do? God said, is the government casting them? To be like that. Oh. Because because God cannot change you if you say if you don't plead guilty, you know, sir. If what you are doing, if you say it right, God can't change you. It's when you plead guilty, like what you have been doing at Psalm 51, and him cleanse you. But if you say you don't All right, point the point is taken. So therefore what must they do that them can receive this um gift? It's to tell God say me guilty and I want clean up. All right, okay. So the youth them will live in the drain on the new Kingston must tell God say them guilty and then now he will find somewhere to get them to live. And the government must stop telling say them right. 
because the government can't encourage them to do wrong and mess up them own mind and when they mess up them own mind they blame in the, the, the highlands that we aren't here because they're messing up their mind all right and okay tell the young people to all right, right to all mess right up them own mind. all right thank you yes i'll call back on next time thank you very much yes sir good morning welcome to straight up hello good morning yes sir big up mr big yes sir and there's nothing small about you maybe only in the end <laughs> all right but Terry, yes, sir. Did my son just take a part in G Tech? Yeah. To go to high school. No, them are, you know, you have to go get a package from the high school, right? Yeah. Package of um, information and documents and. And Ray Ray. You know how $5,500 dollars to get it? You see all them things, the man? Virgin. What you call that? What kind of. No, no, can, can it. You know, can it. Grand in Tech for me if you go out of school. Eh? Yeah, can it cost so them. Sign more? Can it cost them so much money to photocopy and do this and do that, that the uh, things in that package? I you know what them are in it. Yeah. Pay for to go and doctor again to go do medical. More money. No way you can blame them to require the youth to do medical. But are they sending it to a particular doctor? I, do, I don't know. I have to go scrape up that money. They don't have to go see the So is, is the school that is accepting him in is requiring... That 5,000 and, and the medical. Yeah. yeah, they need they need to know the medical status of um of yeah, people. But if not do all of them shots and things and in that one book where him have them write up and doctor sign and How long ago? How long ago them do them shot there? Them do them shot the family them not require no more shots when mm. they reach twelve, them not require no more of them. No but a me, no, no but a med a medical frequently is an up to date status rather than a record of your a medical record is not just a medical record. It's a status, and status refers to today. Status yeah. refers to the present state. Me know, but you see that now. That's not nothing, you know. That's not registration, you know. Registration and is on next date and that, next month. Also, that are just a cutter. Yes, that are just a warm up to stab you again. Yeah, because frequently you, know, you have some business people. <laughs> you have some business people feel you to get an idea how much money you have, you know. You know some yes. doc. You know some doctor have good um, vision, like X-ray vision. Not yeah. even doctor, even my mechanic. I wait there, me draw, me have five thousand dollars for work for my car. I'm go buy something. He left four thousand six hundred dollars, but the, but the mechanic come like a, a doctor, you know. In precise. And Nigerian come from, you know. After some Jamaican, some, got, some yeah. Jamaican, I fool wrong, uh, uh, like them a fix my car, but them a, them a, them a fornicate. And the Nigerian yeah. come a four and a half for him to find, you know. And you see when me a fret now, say I charge me five thousand dollars and them with it. And me say what I must give. He said four thousand five hundred dollars. Um, a one a one hundred dollar left now. One bill that can be but, but, on Yes, but him very accurate you now. You have some doctor feel out you know. Yep, and feel out how much money you have. And them go on them go and do all out the medicine little little till 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 your house mortgage. And when the house mortgage don't know that time them say, you know, I give a month for live. <laughs> But why, why not blaming know? doctor? I only say they have some professional are so skillful that them can feel out and know how much money you have can spend. Yeah, man. I'll like how some lady. You see when some lady. This is woman is very intelligent. You know. That woman meet them just look up and down. With, them don't know so them look up and down. You know. And right away them know whether you can buy Kentucky or whether that cheese country they will give them. I you got a you got Chinese restaurant. Let's go for a break and come back. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. You still there, sir? Is he there? Oh, boy. Package, $5,000 package and different things. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Morning, welcome. Straight Up. Hello? Are you there? Good morning, welcome. Straight what up. On, yes, sir. What mm -hmm. there, I watch and see. Yes, sir. The controversy with the commissioner. The commissioner? You mean the ex-commissioner? Yes, 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 yes. Or the next commissioner? Now when you up now, you see me now, yeah. I'm just going to act now as commissioner. I'm mean, not giving him 1% support. Yeah. Because he was the one that invaded the Valley Garden. He, he, was, the, he was the commander. He, yes, yes. He was the commander. No, he wasn't the commander on the ground, you know. The commander on the ground, I think, was Heinz. You know, Heinz, may I say? Oh, oh yes, boy. Heinz, may I talk about, you know. Why well, I mean, I listen to good, my apology. No, the Heinz, may I talk about. Yeah. And when I see that man on television. Yeah. And the pastor of this man, the, the man from the army, yeah. and the commissioner, they were well pleased. Well, I have to 
endorse what lied the Aguilar say and he has been saying for a long time. Stuart Saunders must remove himself and the government must remove him. They are shameless. Mm -hmm. The government, the cabinet, the prime minister, the, 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 the cabinet secretary who is, mm -hmm. I think is the head of the civil service apart from the financial. They are shameless. If you put that man in at that position, if you shuffle around the paper there, I don't say him, then put him there for do that. You know. they, but they know. Then put him in a position where he can shuffle around anything mm -hmm. and they couldn't care less. Stuart Sanders. Yeah. After him and the commander. They must put him as permanent secretary. All go all bunting, them, them do have no mind. No mind them do have. And no this, more Mr. <laughs> nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. These people really believe that everybody in this country is idiot. No, they don't believe so, but they believe that you are voiceless. Yes, because not, yeah. he, Mr. Bunting go nationwide and he make a statement about international Partners. Uh, see? Yeah. When, and when you speak of that clearly, that simply means the, the, the police commissioner was forced to resign because not of these people in this country, of what he, what he, what he was responsible as, as, as the commissioner for the police who go to Tivoli Garden, but for people in, in international agency who believe he was not doing well. I'm glad you said international That's agency. Right. Because it's not only international nation like U.S. and, and, and um, England can call for these things. You know. International agencies are their partners also. Mm -hmm. And when you think of the commissioner, I myself did take him to task when he classified Jamaicans for justice and the Indicom head as adversarial, something like that, adversarial. Yeah. Remember? I will take him to task. Say, why should a human rights organization be seen as adversarial? Seeing that the police force is supposed to be itself a human rights organization. Yeah. But now with the recent news and development and the great embarrassment of some of these international agencies, mm -hmm. with the removal, or with, with the, res the force resignation, not even force resignation, the indignation and resignation of, of Carolyn Gomes and others, and the embarrassment of those same international agencies after the most crowing and, and rejoicing that they move Professor Bean. Mm. I wonder if his balance them a balance back that removal of Gomes with a removal of um, the commissioner. But I know you're glad to see him go. Just like how Harris Levy and um yes, and, uh, yes, and Light Daggler. Yes, I hear Mr. Levy yesterday. Yeah. I hear Mr. Levy, yes, of course. Yes. Right, but you, you see, w w when you look at it on the hard hand, you know, the commissioner is somebody you love to hate. You? There are a lot of people love to hate him. Yeah. Him so personally or commissioners in general? No, this commissioner. Yeah, why? Because he have make a few change. Yeah. He make a few change. Yeah. Right? Because some time ago, you would never see a policeman get away with certain things. No. Hold on, 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 hold on. When you're talking to me on this program, don't bother use up the term certain things. Because most time people talk about certain things, they mean uncertain things. The more you use certain things, the most people, is the more people don't know what you're talking about. One time ago, police couldn't get away with what? Like murder. So one time police couldn't get away with murder? In other, in other words, yes. No, not other words. Yes or no. One time police couldn't get away with murder? They would get away with Just it. Just tell me yes or no. You said yes, it a while ago. They get away with it. Yet, one time police couldn't get away with murder, but now they might get away with murder. No, Jerry. So you are putting that in the wrong context, Jerry. You tell me. You are putting that in the wrong context. The, the commissioner. No, one, not commissioner, no. Not, not commissioner, no. I'm talking about one time police couldn't what? Uh, uh, let's withdraw that one, Jerry. No, but you confuse the people already and you influence them. Yes, a lot of times, hold on, no, hold on, no. A lot of times people deliberately make statements which they know they have to withdraw, but they know the damage already so done. See, would you allow me, would you allow me, would you allow, would, would you allow me to finish state what I stated and don't try to cut me and, yes, and paint it? No, you, you still are trying to withdraw. I say frequently. People make statements that they know they have to withdraw, but they know that once they put it out, it already color people mind already. So they smartly them say the thing and then say sorry. Like, like, man, like, like, sorry. like man go rape girl and when him done him I say sorry. Because I'm the one she go report him. But him done get the rape already. So when all is said and done, Jerry, when all is said and done, mm. I am glad to see him go. 
Yeah. But the manner in how it was done. Yeah. That is the problem, you know. And and the lies and the deceit. You did, did you hear me saw that interview this morning? Part of it. Well I hear all of it and that is one man where you couldn't hate him so till you couldn't hate him till God comes. You have to you have to really know so well this way that the man they talk, yeah. he not talk with, with water in their mouth. Him tell you how him believe it. He oh. said he was pushed. He said that that time um, Comish was pushed. Yes. But Adams could not have been pushed. You can't push Adams. <laughs> you can't push him, but not pull him well, straight. What if, what if, what if go for the commissioner too? No, well, I don't know. When them said to Adams, them said to Adams, say, you have been serving a long time. Mr. Adams said, it's 41 years and two months and three days and 22 hours. <laughs> oh, but he never give a minute. Minutes? Five months, two weeks, two days. My baby, we had to take that call from Louis Prima. I hope Mr. Fox credit not done because we have to do things precise like what Mr. Adams says, 41. One thing I disagree with what Mr. Adams said. Yeah. There is no death squad in the police force. I disagree with him vehemently. Yeah. Because there is death squad in the police force. Yes. There is, some time ago, yeah. an incident happened in Maypen. Three policemen respond to a call in a business place. When they go there, they enter the building. The man was inside the building hiding behind a counter. Yes. They shoot the man dead. Leave the building, go for a cutlass, place the cutlass near the man, and then make a report that the man attacked them with cutlass, unknown to them. That there was a camera in there filming everything that they were doing. Yes, sir. Right? And now in the com is charging all of them. They're on one million dollar bill now. Yeah. Look here. And look here. I want to tell you within a few days. I don't know if the incidents happening in a few days. But within a few days we are of two different incidents where police heard that somebody break into a building and the next time heard that a man was somewhere different from breaking into a building. Went there, the, one of the man hiding now, the other man hiding inside the, the business place. Hiding in a barrel, two man hiding in a barrel. The police find out them in a barrel and shoot him in the barrel. Mm -hmm. Two different incidents in days. Mm -hmm. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Mm -hmm. Easy as that. L imagine, and, and we are going to say these policemen are innocent? No, who going, oh you always talk about we. You can't go and we up yourself. I have to go here, sir. Because you always have to join up yourself with people you don't agree with. Oh, you have to do that. I have some text messages here. Sorry about that, Mr. Fox. Jerry, why do you guys big up billionaire trust fund baby Daryl Vaz for not taking, taking a pay increase? You know how big him up? We give credit where it's due. We give credit where it's due. And we even say Lisa Hanna. We even say um, Lisa Hanna better looking than, than Portia. I but to say Portia better shape better than her. And we give credit everywhere it's due. We don't take away credit from people. Daryl Vaz give up some MPA. Bruce Goodwin also encouraged some of my man to give up some of them pay. Um, PJ Patterson do certain thing we're good. And him do certain thing we're not like neither. And we give them credit with you. Yeah, talk about big up billionaire trust fund baby Daryl Vaz. Next one. Jerry, a drone is expensive and no media in Jamaica could afford one. A joke you're making, man. A joke you're making. There are drones that are affordable to, to, to media houses in Jamaica. Next one. Let's set the rest of the message. Your caller says she saw a man controlling it. That's a lie. Was she the only one who saw that? Are you saying categorical that, that this is a lie? And that is a lie. Opinionated. I am opinionated in a certain way. But it is why it is good to hear criticism. You are so opinionated that you are saying categorically that's a lie. And yet you can be right. But if you are right, you, don't, you can't frame it that way. Yet you can't frame it that way. I can't tell you what to do. Let's go for the 10-year headline news. That's what I can tell you. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up As um, They were saying yesterday was International Reggae Day. We're supposed to talk to Jaria's representative, Mr. Campbell, Charles Campbell. And um, we have never young artist, because it's not just about old music like what I've been playing, the roots of reggae, the old music. It's about present day. Just as I was saying, medical record can be from your born, but medical status is how you stay today. Say it is that um, with playing music from a barn, 
We well, have an artist in about 5 or 10 minutes that is telling you of the status of the music. Today it was a short interview. After that we went and talked with counters of people. Like more we talk with Charles Campbell Jaria. And we need ladies because through that now we're going to bring in Miss Stewart to you know. Because we have to have the ladies here every step of the way. Not just as a formality or to make the picture look good but through reality. Next text message. Jerry, most MPs have... Most MPs are not rich to give their salary to their constituents, yes. It's true, most MPs are not rich, but most MPs end up rich. Allow me to tell, most MPs are not rich to give it to them constituents, but most MPs end up rich, especially if them come in for more than one term. Most MPs end up rich. Next one. How, how, um, how did Jerry, can you tell me about the museum in Spanish Town and the tunnels that lead to Passage Fort? Yeah, the museum, museum in Spanish Town is called the Folk Museum. I think it's about that part of the name, too. But Folk Museum. Museum about old things. Well, all museums are about old things. But this is more about um, <coughs> a lot of things about the ordinary people who were the underlings and enslaved and so on, rather than about the rich people. Although all of the rich people things in there, some carriage and some rich people things. The Folk Museum in Spanish Town. One of the time they close it down, you know. Is it has been reopened? The Fort Museum in Spanish Town, in the same square there, where the King's House and the Parliament building and the um, Courthouse and the is Rodney Memorial, all those things. And Passage Fort, yes, there's a tunnel leading from Spanish Town under the ground, way out into, way out past um, Fort Augusta, into Passage Fort. Passage Fort means the passage where the ship them go through coming out of the harbor, you know. And um, Passage Fort, you know, you have Fort all around the harbor, Garden, Fortress. Fort is a short name for Fortress. You have tunnel from place to place where them go underground when war or fight or when them hide. Sometimes they move them property the way they The people who them enslave them regard them as them property. Like cattle. That's why them call them chattel. Chattel is the next form of the word cattle. Or cattle is one form of chattel. A house where you can lift up and move, you call it chattel house. So it can lift up and move. Anything we can lift up and move. You call it your chattels. And you used to have human beings like them chattel too because them can either lift it up or move or them whip it and it move by itself. Next one. Jerry, what's the name of the counter as the music you just played coming from Tafara? It's named Rasta Reggae. That's one name for it. I think there's other names. Rasta Reggae. Next one. Mr. So Small, what was the relationship between your brother and the young Kenneth Skeng Black? You're talking about Skeng Dan. <clears throat> well, Skeng Dan was a teenager when you small was an MP in South Clarendon. And I think Skeng Dan political career started at that time as a teenager, as a supporter of you small and the PNP. Well, more the PNP and all by extension you small down in South St. Catherine, down in the Yorktown area and the Fear area. Skeng Dan. He went on to become a race as owner and music producer. And develop and quarry one and all kind of thing. And live in legend. Walk up in a PNP conference with a grip of money. Go get PNP when PNP is well broke. So you find say apart from red man and big man funding parties. After a while, some of the ordinary little black people will make it big. Start to fund the party. Now you have to look upon them like you're equal. You don't understand me. Next one. Jerry, at time the Rasta community established a radio station. Hospital, school, and a clinic. Well, I have thought that for years, and we have it have to be done. Not only here, but there, and it has been done there already. We already have a school established in Ethiopia, and clinics have been established from time to time. Hospital in the making and radio station, but it must be done, and it must be replicated. In other words, reproduced many different times in different places. We should have farmland in every parish. Both individuals, there's Rastafari in every parish doing farming of their own land. But collectively as a business and as an institution, apart from that individually, we must have land in every parish producing food. Businesses in every parish. Our brethren and our sister, not only us, you know, but the Islamic people, the Pokomania people, the revivalist people, all different people should have farmland in every different parish, radio station, and, and travel agency and rent a car company in every parish. The people that are going to develop the economy, you can't stop it. You cannot dominate it with no big men chamber of commerce like only you have chamber 
Ayalo na chimi. The chimi of commerce. Next one. Jerry, big up to David, one of your listeners. I met him on Friday. He listened to you every day, coming from Apache Lodge. Next one. Hi, Jerry. Look on Lagarde's picture. Look at the haircut. Don't you see she look like one of them who want to dominate us? Read between the lines. You don't have to even look on the haircut. Just look at the cut of our jib. Look at the cut of our of shim jib. I always know where shim good for. A caller is asking for me to call on all churches to pray for the missing three-year-old. Yes, all churches. All people. Because you know, say so we are two or three are gathered. That's a church, you know. We are two or three is gathered in the name of good. That's a church. That's what church means. The word church is not a building. Church means assembly. Assembly that is called out of a bigger set of people. A small assembly of people who is called out of a bigger number of people. In other words, you have 10,000 people in half a tree. Some of them is there for sell cheese crunches. But when you call out some serious people to do the work, those called out set is the church. Those who are called out to do the work. Not those who are videoing. Those who are droning. And those who are selling trees crunches and, 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 and pound with herb. The called out assembly. Those who are called out are the bigger mass. The bigger crowd. You don't understand me? The renter crowd. Out of the renter crowd is a crowd where we work free. For free. With no charge. That's the church. Where two or three is gathered. Good is in the middle. Make three. Two and me and you gather. And good is in the midst. That make three. And you go and get good. Next one. Hi, Je Well, okay. That was it. Let's go to the phone call. Good. And we have some guests outside. We're going to send for them in two minutes, please. Good morning. Well, how many calls do you have there? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Welcome. Straight Up. Hello. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Go ahead, go ahead please. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. I'm hearing you. How are you doing, ma'am? Good morning. Um, good morning to you and your staff and to the mission all over. Thank you very much. You know, my island home to me, so you give me care of Yes, ma'am. You see? I want to say, God is blessed us, you see? Yes, ma'am. Special blessing for Jamaica. Yeah. So I know your anchor holds my dear Jamaica and gives the solid rock. Yeah, ma'am. You see? And no storm... No, nothing can move you. Yeah, yeah. SSP Ford, tried the cross from Pilate Hall of the Calvary. You will give us that report for 46 years ago. But SSP Ford is for 800,000 Jamaican dollars. 800,000? How 800,000 came into the picture? That's what, that, that he was, uh, that's what, that's the sign in his, you know, that's what the sign, 800,000. No, when you are sold, you don't pay money. Money is paid for you. So if he's paying a fine, that's not him being sold. Well, he was sold for 800 pieces of the 800 Jamaican dollars. And I'm saying, I would like to ask the nigga, how much Commissioner Ellington was sold for? I would like a statement from the uh, from the uh, from the Governor General and from um, Peter Bunting, the uh, the uh, the um, Minister of um, um, Security, and you as a nation should demand a statement from both of them. You know, and um, you see all I have to say this morning, and I await the statements from those two, those two, two persons. How much is that, dear ma'am? All right, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yes, I Yes, me I have one. King Celestia, I just have a Good morning, I have. Same to you. Give thanks for another day, you know? Yes, sir. What well, have you said, Jerry, things we are analyzing, you know? Yeah. You know, so the same way the government team up with the bank, you say, for rob the poor people, them. You know, so the same way up in the school, them right around, Jerry. Because some things that implementing at the school to charge the parents the military is not right still, you know. Yes, uh, I am. Go ahead, please. Yeah, me have a certain, certain thing that implement in the school that you have to pay for your child to come in or have to pay for your child to stay in. Yes, yes. I don't see Miss me see it as an exploitation, Mr. Small. You don't or you do? I do. Yes, yes. 
Yes, man, it's an exploitation of the parents, man. Yeah, sometimes they lay a burden on your back. So heavy to bear, and they would not even move their finger to, to um, not even them finger they would have put for, for bear any such weight for themselves. I tell them man it's hard, Mr. Small, but I tell them life has taught me a thing, you know, Mr. Small, because I learned by my mistake and the mistake of my parents, you know, Mr. Small. Yeah. You say my children, Mr. Small, yeah. since I come and I study life, because I study life, you know, I see the mistake of people making life, you know. Yeah. And I use that to adjust myself. Yeah. So me as a big man, Mr. Small, I have two children going to school. So when so I'm going up in here, Mr. Small, I'm trying my best to make my children achieve. Can you see if we as African people can set a foundation for our children, Mr. Small? Yes, sir. The generation will get better and better and better, don't Well, you that is why I know. I have a guest here. I'm going to delay her a little. But that is one of the reasons why I bring her here in this morning. Because she is one of the African people who establish schools. Just like how you and me are supposed to establish travel agency. And the next one establish a minibus company. And the next one establish a brain surgery. And different things. And we make them, we make them for, for ourselves and also for our progress. We're not making them for giving things free, you know. We're no. making them to provide services and then we get paid for the service and we put the money to good use. And we give out some scholarship in between. I will play by the rules of the institution. Yes, we do. Look here, after, yeah. after cut this short a little bit because we have a little tight schedule here. Three quick interviews. But I'm um, called back after 11 o'clock because I want to hear more from you. Yes, no problem, man. Time management are the greatest, you know? Thank you very much, sir. Good morning. Welcome to the street. Hello. We, 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 we're going to be trying by Mr. Charles Campbell very shortly. Good morning. Welcome to the street. Hello. No? All right. Hear this now. We're going to read. No, we don't have no rest of the text message. Can we get Mr. Charles Campbell? But in the meantime, I just want to introduce Miss Stewart. She's an educator and she'll bring in, she'll bring in artists because, as I say, Medical records is about to happen from the time you're born till now. But medical status is how you stay now. So we're not just dealing with this. Reggae records from what did happen in a reggae from the beginning. We are dealing with reggae status. That's what's happening now. So Miss Stuart go and tell us what is happening now and she bring a young man who's part of the now happenings. Good morning, Miss Stuart. How are you? A blessed good morning, Mr. Small. Yeah, man. Introduce him quick. I'm going to squeeze him in five minutes. <laughs> and then Mr. Charles Campbell come in. This is Leaf Alive, our new upcoming sensation artist and yeah. prophet, I would say. You know, him have a lot to say, and I'm just hoping that... Leaf Alive? Yes, Leaf All of right. Life. All right, we're just going to squeeze him inside it. What do you want to play? What do you want? Three. Eh? Track three, lick a piece of it. And then we're going to go to Mr. Charles Campbell, because this is the business that Mr. Charles Campbell is in. You know? right. Are we introducing him to Leaf of Life? Yes, of course. Next time you're going to bring some ladies, you know, ma'am. Yes. We're not sorry for seeing yes. doing it. No, of course not. Oh, or him <laughs> going to lift the chair a little more. But I had do some, I've done some interviews based on an album that I'm a part of with a lot of ladies. It, right. um, takes what is track name, Brea? Sorry. Um, it's Burn Them Down. Burn Them Down. Lick a piece of it. <coughs> Lick a piece of it before I bring him as a Charles Campbell. Let's hear it. Leave a life. Burn them down. Shit. <laughs> Until the philosophy, which own one race superior, fighting war for what they do not hold. Hey, hold on, pull up. You hear the fabric here, though? <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring him in back with Bojo Banta at 11 o'clock. For we are bringing Bojo Banta, not life, you know. 11 o'clock and his most appropriate leave for life. Quite so. We ain't come with that and we've come with the fabric here. That's, the That's very nice. We introduce now Mr. Charles Campbell of Jaria. A Jamaica Reggae Industry Association. Mr. Man, Mr. Charles Campbell, how are you doing, sir? Greetings, Mr. Small, I'm fine. Sir. May I tell you, the people them say, you have know, to take where I walk in a car. You have more better radio voice, more high. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Don't have your intellect, though. It's, uh, you know, it's um, empty barrels, they say. I joke, I make, man. You have the pipes. Well, um... Well, um, now Jaria, <coughs> Jaria, <coughs> excuse me, Jaria, people like yourself, Ibo Cooper people, many of the people, the females, them, some beautiful work they've been doing. Even Miss um, Limonius putting on live music all the while, just like the live music Mr. Dunga King's Plaza last night up at Mr. White Lock Place. It's so beautiful. But you've been promoting and pushing for decades now, 
reggae music month, reggae, reggae month in a February coinciding with the interest in black history, African history, and it's very successful. And we have seen that um, there was a little controversy, but sometimes even the great controversy bring forth good things, because the great controversy will stem out of the Bible. Um, we heard somebody saying, let's shift um, reggae month down to midsummer because reggae in February don't help to bring in fully hotel. The hotel is already full because not is cold and people come south to Jamaica in February to keep warm. Let us bring reggae into July where the hotels are empty. Just because you were one of the people who were bringing sudden splash and executed that, that great feat of bringing tourists. And that's why Jamaica is now an all-round destination, largely to the credit of Ronnie Burke, Charles Campbell, um, what am I expecting? What am I expecting right there? Uh, 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 Barclays with me there. Dan Green. Uh, Mr. My man will take off. Our brethren will take off. What's name? Johnson. Johnson. It's largely to the credit of you in association with the tourist board and many other people in the 70s. Helped turn Jamaica into an all year destination. And so it was, um, the hotel them full up and no turning back. There's no more sun splash, but sun fest and all of them things there. Are the children of some of Sunsplash? So, so, so is it a gradual switch from um, reggae month to international reggae month? Oh no, the two complement each other. Okay. And and I think it is this is really fitting that we have some official acknowledgement of the the impact that the reggae music has had on our country, the world at large, yeah. that um, this comes in the mid-summer or in the beginning of summer um, after we have had reggae months in birth. Yes. Um, literally five months later. Yes. So it keeps it, keeps it uppermost in, in the minds of of, of the world, yes. the impact that reggae has had um, in terms of turning around so many lives, in terms of um, uh, championing the right causes yeah. in the world, not just in, in our little island, and that's what has made it so powerful yes. that 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 our creators, our innovators here in Jamaica, can so embrace. The, the the principles that will evolve our civilization into better beings and better neighbors that, that we can put that into song and connect with so many different races, tribes, creeds and yep. at the same time give so many of our youngsters a more positive outlook on life and, and something useful to do um, and, and so many Jamaican economy benefits from this music in, in so many ways that we need more than reggae month on July the 1st. We need to treat reggae music as, as the most honorable, Edward Sayaga say, as the greatest gift to Jamaica <laughs> since independence. The it, greatest it, export product. Yes. Yeah. In fact, in his it, most recent comment, he says the greatest product period that yeah. we have created since independence. Yeah, it and is, yet we give it scant to God. It is, it is a gift in the sense, not in the sense of something that has been given, that, that has been given to us, but a gift in the sense of uh, the talent, you know, the gifts, like I said, different gifts, tolerance, vision, uh, discernment, these, all these gifts. It's a gift like that. You are gifted. You are a gifted like a gifted child, a gifted people, gifted in that sense, yes. But it's one, it's one of the gifts that you get it, having got it, you don't give it away. True, true. True, true. That's so true. In fact, they, they say that um, our athletes are gifted, but our musicians are talented. May I tell you, multi, multi-talented like our, our, our athletes are multifaceted. Now, did you know that um, Countess is... The Mystic Revelations, um, instruments, music sheets, and a whole heap of them heritage was wiped out in a fire on the eve of International Reggae Day. No, I didn't. 
This is shocking news to me. Yes, right up in the Johnson town in the, in the foothills of the Warwick Hill. Wow. But fortunately, they recorded certain things. That's why keeping minutes, keeping records. I see my student in the studio. There's a thing we advise people about all the while. Get a video camera and take it with you and record your work and document your work as a living diary. Fortunately, counters the answer did record many things so that when things gone up in smoke, like, like we just play a piece of music here a while ago from the artist named Leaf of Life. What's his name? Burn them down. Burn them down. Are the same, as they say? So Charles Campbell, Jari have it, it on, um, I've asked you many times before. Does Jari now have it on video equipment? No, we don't. You don't think you need it, sir? Yes, I mean, there are many things that Jerry and me, and you know, you know, Jerry, Jerry is a voluntary organization made up of members of the industry. Yeah. Um, so, I, I see Jerry as being the voice of the industry, and um, we have membership and we have sympathizers. Yes, yes. However, in terms of financing the work of Jaria. That has to come from the industry itself. Yeah. Uh, for us to really get independent of relying on external um, agencies to provide this. But, but may, may I say this quickly, Charles? Surely the voice of the industry should have a voice recorder. We don't want the top professional level camera in it. Just a basic little camera because we're still going to get the main business to the service providers. We're not trying to supplant. It's like you have a little, we have a little mini. But at the way they will hire a limo or if we're going to the airport, we will hire a juta. But just in case we have a little bicycle or a little forced four door car in case juta strike that day or limo too expensive. But, um, let's go for a break and come back, Charles, please. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're talking here with Charles Campbell, leading, the leading, um, the leading voice of Jaria Jamaica Reggae Industry Association, one of the founders and visionaries of some Sunsplash and, 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 and Jamaica Summer Festivals and all, Jamaica Music Summer Festivals and all, which is our genre by itself. This is like jazz festivals. So you have jazz festivals, so you have reggae festival, reggae summer festival. Charles. Yeah. Is it an international reggae day yesterday or is it a month that it is being developed? It's a day. Yeah. The first of July every year yeah. is celebrated as International Reggae Day. There was a lady who was um, the, the inspirer and carrier of it and I was supposed to have spoken to her yesterday. What is her name again? Andrea Davis. Yes. Uh, she has done tremendous work over the years. Yes. In raising the profile of reggae. Yes. And you know, she's, she's very integrally involved in the music. Many people don't know if she manages some artists, including the, the great Toots. The who? The Toots, yeah. Toots, 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 yes. Along with yeah. people like Warwick Lynn and, and others, she, she put in her part with Toots. Absolutely. And she, 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 she still handles his bookings, etc. Yeah, nice. And, and she's a lawyer of no mean order. Oh, you know, yeah. So oh, yeah. She, she has been one of the soldiers yeah. in trying to preserve Jamaica's position as the creator and inspirer of this music, yeah. as well as trying to transform the thing into, uh, in, in, into a respectable business generating foreign exchange for the country so you know hats off to andrea yes. and with this international reggae day yes. she has grown it from a local phenomenon into an international media phenomenon yes you know radio stations television stations all over the world now yes devote a day to to, to reggae music yeah. and that has such a great potential in terms of perpetuating the thing yeah, this now is like your Hollywood Walk of Fame, where you put down stars and signatures on the sidewalk. You create an attraction. You make it stuck in a people's mind. And um, 
You understand? True, true. And true. Um, exactly. we, have get credit, we have to give credit to Miss Miller from Roots FM, who brought her to my attention. Miss Miller, Dennis Miller. Dennis, yeah. yes, Isis. Yeah, tireless. Them lady, the tireless, like Aisha. Fred Lock's True. sister, Aisha. Um, Aisha. What's your last name again? Marcia. Mr. Fred Lock's sister, dear, from what I have of you. These people are tireless. Choo choo. Yeah. Choo choo. Choo choo. It's great. Yes. So, and, as, and, I know. And, and, and as you were saying earlier, who want to see more and more women yeah. playing these significant roles in the business? Yeah. Um, one, one of the things that we have to recognize and work to change is how many women are involved in the business. We need more women in the business, we need more women in various aspects of the business. Because they, when they set their minds to something, Jerry, as you say, they are tireless warriors and they pursue it to the point event. Yeah, ma'am, I tell you. And um, when you take a stock, I noticed that Minister Hilton he gave a, a talk yesterday, so the government is getting interested in the licensing protection of music. What about this 50-year expiry of um, protection of the rights of certain music that was recorded like 62, before 64? We have to protect... Tell us about it. It's interesting that you ask that question, because... Um, Jaira as, as well as Jams and Jacob have, have called for that legislation to fall in line with the, the trend of the rest of the world and make that 50 years now 75 years. Yes. Because as you know, many of our creators are just now beginning to benefit. Yes, sir. Just of the music was done in those early years. Yes, thank God for thank God for Heineken Star Time. Thank God for for Prince for for, for King um King Omar that is um Kingsley Goodison. Thank yeah, God man. thank God for all those people who start make who help start make the old time of the meter food till hardly any old time a musician now are a reggae artist in Jamaica not eating a food even occasionally, even three times a week food. But uh, it, it's incredible to see the lineup of the festivals in Europe, Jerry, and see these names on it. Yes, sir. Names that Jamaica have all but forgotten. Yes, sir. They are just getting a new lease on life. I'm in telling terms you. Of earning from live performances. Yes, I met you, Zilla. When I see all the jolly boys, we never even know about them in the 50s and 60s, and here it is, them are both much less the old time, and I'm like the Altons. And the Altans and the, the, the Rico Rodriguez and all them people that were work non-stop. Burning Spear can't get no rest. Yellow Man can't get no rest. Mafia Dodge. Yeah, Leroy Sibley. It's great. And the lady them, the queen of them. The queen of them, I, I don't even have her here in the whole year celebration of our 50 years. Marcia Griffiths, may I tell you. Oh, man. And, 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 and she, she's an icon of, of not just... Um, reggae music, of, but, you know. Of music. Music. And, and of Jamaica and of the world. Oh, yes. She, she's really a queen. Yes, yeah, so she's like, she's like up the Merlin at the end of the music field. Without a doubt. Incomparable. I yeah, tell you, man. And, right. and the grace with which she handles herself. Boy, I tell you. Um, is, is such, is such, she's such a role model to our young women, yeah, you, you know. I yeah, tell you, man. I had to have to have to her every day. Yeah, ma'am, I tell you, 50 years, a whole year celebration. Yes, yes. Well, now, um, I, in closing, and, and you can come back here anytime as soon as you want in connection with this um, Jaria, in anything concerned with Jaria. But in closing, what you want? Is there any calendar event upcoming or what is it? Well, you know, what I would like to say on this international reggae day discussion is that we need to consider the idea of instituting quotas like many European countries have done, like countries like Canada have done, in order to 
preserve and promote our music. I think we need to consider quotas, Jerry. You mean airplay time? Yes. We we really should not. When you look at how much J-Cap pays out yeah. for foreign music, in other words, what every, they pay yeah, the local yeah. In other words, let me translate for the people. Every time you pay our music, you have to pay out money. We are playing so much foreign music that most of the radio stations and the, and the clubs are paying money out of Jamaica to people foreign music play. And, and, um, and through that now, we should be playing more reggae and circulating the Jamaican dollar and the US dollar in a Jamaica. The Jewish people, the Jewish people, Israel is a diasporic nation. And the Jewish people, one of their principles is that when a dollar come into the Israel or the Jewish community from outside, it must circulate at least 20 times. It must spend by the Jewish barber, spending with the Jewish KFC man. Then the Jewish KFC man spend with the Jewish taxi man. Then back to the Jewish lady where I give him massage. Then back to the next Jewish lady where I am telephone operator. And back to him wife and him wife give some to him daughter and she spend it wrong 20 times before it spend back outside to a non-Jew. So it is that um, we should be paying at least 60% of a radio music should be playing reggae Jamaican music so we spin we spin that Jamaican dollar just like how the record has spin wrong. That's right. I mean I, I, I hear the politicians now speaking about consuming more Jamaican in order to in order for us to reduce the importation of foreign goods. The same thing applies to the music. Yes sir. But, and by extension it is music that has built the Jamaican film industry. It is music that has built the, and will continue to build the Jamaican um, film industry. And so it is um, as a next Campbell. Paul Campbell must never again experience the turn off that he experienced from the Jamaica government that he had to go and make a Jamaican film in Trinidad. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Thank Charles you. Campbell. Well, thank you very much for having been here, sir. One love, sir. And congratulations to all the ladies that we, we work around you and we, and, and we inspire you. And after I mention the ladies, then time I can, I can mention uh, Mibo Cooper. <laughs> and all the rest are great brethren them there. And you keep up the good work, my brother. I can hardly keep up with it. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I, I, lo I love it. Yes. Thank you very much, Charles Campbell. Jaria. One love. Yes, sir. And ma'am. Let's now join Count as the caretakers, the caretakers of Count as the animistic revelation of Rastafari. Do we have them? Do we have them? Good morning. Is Putus there? Yes, 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 yes. yes me, I have going up at Johnson Town. That Johnson Town is not the Johnson Town in Lucy. You have a Johnson Town in Lucy, you know. Lucy, mm. West River. No, East River. Johnson Town. Then you mm. go in a Lucy, you have Lucy, East River. But this is Johnson Town. In town, upon the foothills of Warwick Hill, not true? Yeah. And count as the instruments and mystic revelation instruments and them sheet music and your laptop and your tablet and your different medication, yeah. your, your yes, pipe but, and yeah, your, your spliff. Everything, everything and All your spliff burn up to? Everything burn, everything burn up there. But thank God that I'm um, count as the Rico Rodriguez, Dan Drum and Dizzy Johnny Margarita and yeah. their sister them all um Doggy Mac daughter them and friend and, and um and Sam Clayton girlfriend we can dance and all the other lady them thank God them did record some yeah. of the things not true yeah man I'm the one brother you know you know everything man that's what the things set up you know so, and the music so the, the fire the fire was Monday before day yeah, but what, 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 3.30 or something in the time yeah. there. Yeah. So tell me something now. Um, what my brother's name and count sound where are the lead drummer, the man? Time. Oh, time, time, time. Time, time. in you know, the island, is time in the island? Time. Time is in Jamaica? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, go and put him talk now, man, let him tell you, man. Well, I feel it. I'm going to tell him, 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 Yes, all we, do, all we have to do you now. All we have to do is... Yeah, go ahead, yes. What, what we can do is rebuild better, rebuild better. 
Yeah. Yeah, tell me something now. That house did have been a fire extinguisher? No. Now, the next time no. you build back a house, are you no. going to make sure that you have a fire extinguisher near the kitchen, one near the back door, and one near the front door, and one near the bedroom door? Mm. No, we, you can't do this thing, you know, self-help. God help them, help themselves, you know, sir. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I try to do it all the time, you know. I try to get time. We are not here to criticize, and we have all of the wisdom after the fact, but we want to encourage you. Yes, Uncle Jerry. Let's go for a break and come back. I want to hear more from you. Mm -hmm. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. We have one of the caretakers of the heritage of the mystic revelation of Rastafari. Putus, bro. Putus was living in, staying in, living in house up at Johnson Town there. And all the instruments count as his instruments. And the mystic revelation brothers' instruments, the sheet music. Where you write down the music and the score. And all them things there, and all things there, they get burnt in the house. But it's not the first time that precious things have gone up in smoke. And so we rebuild and rebuild and rebuild. And, um, and, and as, a lot of times we rebuild greater than what was there before. That's a, only, that's a comforting thing, you know, that life goes on. Not true, sir? No. So now, um, Brother Sam Clayton, I know this will be a hard news for him to take. I hope that... Um, that if we talk to him in the right way calmly, that him not, you know, because he suffered some setbacks, setbacks in, in health recently. But uh, Brother Sam know yet what happened? Well, I don't know Brother Sam. Do you have a phone? True, you don't have any phone. Somebody reached Brother Sam already, man. You know that. So, true, you don't have no phone. Yeah, it's all right. Your three phone burn up. Your three phone burn up, yes. That's why I am. Um, that's why I'm smart. Well, you know, one time I you don't know, keep cell phone. You know, although I have a cell phone, I keep it far enough. You know, radiation and that thing. I find myself yeah. I walk with cell phone from morning till night. You know. And more time I'll not my bed. You know, I have a cell phone in my pocket. That if I have to jump up, I'm you not know, left. Yeah. But we have to find a way. We have to find a cure for cancer. Because you know. so mm. much thing we're exposed to now. We have to find a cure them. We can't just expose ourselves to so much thing. Yes, sir. Then, then um, the public defender. I'm yeah. African name, you know, the acting public defender. I'm African name, I forgot to have name, the new one. But the elder one, is, is he there? No, he was there, but... He's gone? No, but the president. What? I was hoping that I would catch him because Mr. Earl with her. And Mr. Earl with her wake me up this morning, you know, and tell Mr. Fire. Fire. Eh? In fact, you know, and in, in the body from Canada. Oh, yes, Mr. Earl with her, tell me about this fire, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm still a defend the public in a certain kind of way. Yeah, well, yes, well, anyway. Uh, so, uh, the so which one of the brethren, uh, who else of the brethren of the band, of the band members that have you spoken to since the fire? Well, you know, you see, I don't know what I'm coming to my Talk like a little slow, hold on. Talk a little slow. And put them out right at the phone. I'm alive, come. Who? Oh? All right, you are, you are, you are. Your mouth the right against the phone. Hold on, hold on a minute. Is your mouth right against the phone? Yeah. Your, your mouth is right against the phone. No, 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 no. All right, put your mouth like a close and see if we hear you better. Who you say come? Time. Time come, yes. Raya come to be a player. Raya, yes. Time and repeat a player. Yeah. Aaron come. Yeah. Bruno come to Raya son. Yeah. Repeat yeah. I played from the two and I sing differently. Yeah. Differently. You know, the minute I mystic. Where times. Yeah. Time sister, where Miss Brooks. Hello, time sister, where Miss Brooks did take care of. What's your name again? You know Miss Brooks? Eh? I don't remember what she. Do I have to choose some of the money? Yeah, time sister, count as a daughter. What's your name again? I don't, I don't remember that one. Okay, she yeah. don't know. I want beauty queen. But she, and she make craft work and all them things. And she write okay, a book. She, she, write uh, a book. Okay. she write a book. She write a book about counters to her father. I sure remember, remember. All right. Well, all right. We're going, we're going to keep in touch. We're going to keep in touch. Yes, sir? We're going to keep in touch. But keep up the, keep up the heart, you know. Keep up the heart. And I tell you, when you rebuild, if you have to move from there to another home, or if you rebuild right there, so yeah, you hear me? Yeah. 
It is vital for you to have about three fire extinguishers in your house. Yeah. It's not a luxury. Yeah, you have one near the kitchen. I have yeah, one near the back yeah, entrance. Yeah, yeah, I have one near the front entrance. Mm -hmm. And one near the, the and one near which part you sleep. Yeah. Because it's vital that we help ourselves until yeah. the fire brigade come. You know the government. Come again. Come again. No, I said people are not here, the ancient people are them pass to the place and, and, and the place is a fire. Yeah. And then see someone where they can't sleep, so they squeeze and come to sleep. Yes. And then smoke, you know? Yes. Smoke a lot, too, and then... I ain't never see smoke. I don't know, I lick them down, and then I just come on and make me a money, and make me a 20, and I just give them an answer, so... You understand? I ain't never see smoke without fire. All right, so then squeeze in and, and sleep in the place, right? Or them sleep and sleep. Well, no, hear me now. Although we like to help people, sometimes you're spoiling people is not helping people. So when you're helping, hell, hey, hey, listen to me. When you're helping people and it's helping them in a way that is not good for them, you are not helping them. Yeah. So when a man, when a man need a smoke, mm -hmm. and you have your money to feed your children, and you say you are going to help him out with a smoke, you are not helping him, and you are yeah. not helping your children. So it is your duty. If you even allowing somebody to come sleep at your yard, them sleep at your yard under rules. You smoke yeah. under the mango tree, and you out your split before you come into your house. Yeah. You understand me, sir? Mm-hmm. Why, well, thank God, say, life is still there, say, so you never get burned, you understand me? Yes, 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 yes. Bongo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just build back. We are, yes, we have to build back the vibe. We have to build it back. Yes, sir. All right, look here. It, when people, when more, you say when more people here, when more people here, you will get, you will get some help. There's a band. I forgot the name of the young man. Them band somewhere out of east there too. Where them place burn out about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Them studio and all of them instruments. What them name again? Mm -hmm. One of the young man, young set of young man, but I forgot what them name man. Yeah, and and them take time and recover back. No, everything will come back good. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, here, sir. That yeah, is Putus. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Putus yeah. of the, the vocalist for the Mystic Revelation of Rastafari. Now we come back to our bridge here. Yeah. Leaf of life. We thought it would be after eleven, but see that there work things in a way that we get in. We're squeezing something sideways. Leaf of life. Miss Stuart, how are you doing? Miss Stuart. Greetings again. Yeah, man, you bring the young artist yeah, and his international reggae. It is the boxing day of international reggae. <laughs> yes, day. of course. You know the boxing day idea after where you pack up the things <laughs> in the box. <laughs> yes. And, and you put them up yeah. till when you need them again. Yes, man. So how you get my music, Leaf of Life? Yeah, you know, give thanks, Rastafari. Impress last year, bless you, you know? Yeah, man, how you get my music? Yeah, it was from kid you know i was from school you know it's it's yeah. the inborn concept you know true true so you know they always they run a school back at dj sometime at lunchtime my bridge name come around and gather and you know all a vibe you know yeah beat the decks beat the jump. yes it does just go and say I, my first um my first exercise in music is beating him to condense <laughs> fan and death stop all of JC, a pure death. I tell you, we are little youth now, 11, 12. <laughs> and I count as the first, you know, we start off, you know. Right. Count as it. When I look at youth, I don't know some of you are know. <laughs> or people identify me from my little youth and say you are know. My know. mother did. People know me yes. before I know myself, you know. Right. Yeah, for I me know. I, I, I beat the death and I say Babylon gone. Move. And people claim to them out, tell me old man come, old man a judge and me not supposed to <laughs> sing to Babylon gone. I clap the desk. Yes, of course. And we are sing. Me and my little bridge. And all Norman McDonald. We usually run housing trust. Uh, we ain't right. And some uptown youth. We're not supposed to business with them thing there. But we business with it. Because yes. we identify with the yes. suffering of the people. And we have clapped the desk and say, Leave earth. And Babylon gone. Yes, of course. And Carolina. We're bridging them. That's you know, folks brothers. We and them grow up as teenagers. Yes. So him say yeah, the desk is him first instrument. Yeah, but Leap professionally, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, first time released 2001, you know, by Pick Up Pepper label, which is Mr. G now, oh, yeah, Wolfie, yeah. produced the first song with I, you know. Yeah. Red Rat voice my first thing. Red Rat. Yeah, oh, yeah that's where we run a Main Street studio that come originally come from Red Road, you know. Um, oh, no. 
Oh no. <laughs> so, Round there, so me all, um, Danny Brownie there, my next door neighbor. You know, oh, yeah, so Danny Brownie like, from 12, right? Yep, Danny Brownie, yeah. Yes, Danny Brownie, I'm um, Glenn Brownie, Not all Brownie them. Yes, sir. Yeah, from Lindsay Brownie Crescent. Yes. Uh, Lindsay Crescent, yes, man. Them man, they are the foundation musician. They're in my backyard. So, when I left school, I run a main street studio. So, Red Rat, this cover my talent, Vice me, but go for Vice me after I'm film song first play on radio. This is serious. Yeah. <laughs> So, I did a song name, I and a Life. I want to share something that even the name Leaf of Life. Yet. Them yeah. guy and my name Stranger, a part of youth named Danger. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sir. Danger and Stranger and Power Ranger. Oh, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to go in that event, them. I want to lick a bridge in all the I don't know, say Jesus born and I'm here, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, Danger and I don't say no deal with Jesus. <laughs> Jesse yeah, Barn in a Mianja. Negus, Negus, yeah. Negus. And Mianja have, have nothing to do with Mianja now. <laughs> Mianja is a place where the, where the young lamb them say. Very sacred. Yes, sir. So Mianja is a different thing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So professionally, coming at the music now, Leaf of Life Signature Mark Artist 2003. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we come out with a song named Gully Gully that are before my father, the bus. What you say? Yeah, See Cartel that? was on the rhythm also. Cartel have two songs on the rhythm, my father have one. Yeah. My song name Gully Gully. Cartel called my name in a fame song. Uh -huh. of 2004. The, the new name, name or the first name? Well, Leaf of Life, the birth name. Yeah, the yeah. new birth name. Because yeah, I remember yeah. it was Danger and Stranger first. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, Rastafari I called me. I take my call, you know. Yeah. Come to a part of phrase there and say, you know, just reverence and prayer yes, and, sir, man, yes, and Bible reading and Bible study. Like. Yes, sir. Just a chant up on the drum and bass. And there's a Leaf of Life forward. Because we are saying, you know, representative of the forest car, we find out everybody sick, so we are saying we need some medicine now in the thing. Yeah. So we come as the healing, you know, mm. part of the nation, you know, we know, say, the MCM way, enough people see it as the leaf of life, CM way. Which as we talk about him, <laughs> my throat dry, and I scratch me. <laughs> and when I take a stock, yes. I see, like a lady read me, you know, because a lady will bring her Miss Stuart. Miss Stuart should bring some roots to drink here for me. I'm a throat dry, but I label pretty. You know, sometimes you get something and you don't want to open it. You know, want to pull it. That's why some people get all some champagne or some drink and then put it up all upon it. You upon get what not in here. No, them get put all up on them what not. How much years up there? Know. Me, all right. some bar. Yes, Going to some right. bar sometime, I'm say, I want that drink. Them say, no, it now, it now pull. Christ, no. Move it from off of them, man. <laughs> and wake up and smell it, the coffee. But she bring on. Um, what you know about all roots drink and all that? You reproduce bunny wheeler. Don't tell reproduce for Bonnie Wheeler. Yes, sir. What's your name? Her name is Zenab. That no means a bunny. Come <laughs> when you reproduce in it, you reproduce male and female. Yes, of course. You as a lady, yes. you reproduce our seed for us. Yes. Male and female. And what's your name? Her name is Zenab. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So me think only root them the roots they you reproduce. <laughs> well it comes with it. Yeah? Yes. So your this is your label? Rash, yes, it's rash, rash fruity. fruity or fruitier roots. promotion. R fruitier oh, roots. So who designed the label? It's pretty. I did. It's very pretty. Thank you. Why well, if we run like we are news now? We should. Why are ready for the 11 year old line? Of course. Why you can't just run the road for me? And don't take no time from the body. Just do what me tell you for the same time. And make sure that everything work account to all man so everything's work, see? Take back yourself and bring back yourself in a one piece. Make sure she's a real. Hear me? Loud of mercy. Hey, loud of his mercy. Loud of mercy. When you watch right, make sure your man can't speed limit. Oh. Sam, we play that one for reggae. International reggae time. July. July. Because, um,. That is the one of those that are typical of the reach of the reggae music. The reach of the reggae music and the hypnosis. It's so compulsive when you listen. They make it pound liquor or rhythm. You know. The rhythm of prophecy, the same theme song of this program. Bujubant and ride it so effectively. And them call it driver and stop at all. Telling you about the way how people seek them bread in desolate places. Make some money. But don't boast too much and don't give away the game. Him give away the game, him a pay. Him a pay for it still. Just like if you drum a lock, stock and barrel, pay for the entire length of bread. Judy Mott, I was closer to Judy Mott. And Alan Cole, lady, have several children for him. And when him, 
when they come into the Ethiopian World Federation, they leave from Brazil now. Tell them that nobody leave Brazil now. Go and, go and run the football down there. But they say, boy, I'm, not, I'm not leaving them. I come back here. Come back here in 1973. Now, I'm come 72. I'm show him the, um, the Ethiopian World Federation Charter 15 and the 12 tribe of Israel. But I'm saying, love it. Anyway, I'm go back to Brazil. And he, 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 he came around and he had half Red Hills Road there. And he tell me to, to make Judy keep in touch with the house and get all the literature where I come out and so on until he come back from Brazil. She come in at the house the same way. And my, and, 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 and skills stubborn in him. Left Brazil and come back to Jamaica. Now I no time to stay in Brazil. Come back to Jamaica. A little more Bob Marley coming out to care Bob Marley and Bob Marley coming out to. And my daughter go to Vaz prep school. And Judy Moore had to see her one day when she was about four years old and she had to talk and say, Who oh, school she go, man? Boy, she must have get some good training at school. I say, I've asked prep school she go, you know. Judy Moore had to say, Boy, I have to help me get some of my children in that school, you know. And we get in Kerry. Judy Moore's first son, Kerry. Get in Kerry in Avaz. And two twos, Bob Marley, I live around Jackson Lane with Rita and the youth, them. Right beside Vaz, Jackson Lane. And, and Bob Marley get in the children, them, because my children are there. Well, my daughter is there. Judy Moore, children start to come to carry. And Bob and Rita now push in Sidella. Push in Sidella first in a vase. And look more that a Ziggy. And look more that a, a Stephen. God Almighty, me I tell you, say, me a Sangi. Me a Sangi, you know. 1977. Or 76. I think it's about 76. Me and Sangi Davis. Make Sangi follow me go down a vase. Prize giving, you know. And them have a little percussion band. You know, little way tap tap, little triangle and little fifi and little thing and little recorder. My daughter played a recorder in the percussion band. And the percussion band put on one little concert, you know. And Guess who in it? My daughter in there and some more youth and Bob Marley youth, them two of them and some more youth and I never even have a tape record on our camera, you know. And they mash down the show in the last music with them play, you know. Them play old time black people music named Mama Little Baby Love Shot in Bread. And Little Steve Marley, a act as a baby, you know. I'm about five years old, you know. And Ziggy Malia act as a doctor. Star and boy. after them sing two verses, just hear the doctor say, Feed this child and shot in bread. And he'll be able to just pipe yeah. up and say, You know, the way that they mark it out, you know, on the stage, you know. The time Bob Marley, you know, it, you know, internationally, you know. And he'll pick them in the percussion band, and my daughter blow the record, and they mash down the room, you know. And me and Sangi sit down there, stand up there, and watch them, you know. Sangi Davis, somewhere around 1976. I do have no record, I do have a picture like on Mr. Stewart have video everything now. That is the way we must be equipped. And I go and play now for you, say. That piece of music. Rendered, oh, rendered, rendered by another group. But I tell you how they could pick them down at Vaz Prep School. And because of that, Mrs. Vaz allowed the Rastafari children to come to our school and don't cut off them here. Them don't have to cut off them locks or nothing and come there. Big so after that, all of the Rastafari who are hungry two children and could have paid them school fee. Start to send them children to Vaz. And Maya, the brother of Vaz Alan Vaz. Magnus. His mother is teaching there, Mrs. Magnus. My old lady is teaching there. And them taking care of the little youth them. And him had transplant. Maya play football and him had drive the bus and drop the youth them at school and carry them home safe. The, the bus named Childs play up to now. And then now, John Pierre has come there with him youth and him must start coaching football. And all kind of thing are going on. My daughter is on the track team. And, 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 and Sidella Mali is on the track team. They run all the stadium. Well, hear this now. Mama little baby love shot and bread. Let's hear it. Put on the skillet. Put on the lid. That thing fits on top. Mammy's little baby love Short now Now let's see Here we go One, two, three Mammy's little baby love Yeah man, you can imagine all that there Evening in a vast prep school When them tear down the place with that As the last music Yeah man, it's nice 
and um we're going to come back to tree of life you know but i was going to do it immediately but we're going to make it run a little because here what? you hear me breathless no i'm not breathless me out of breath yes because we just sprint a little while at least i'll make it and come back in but um we have some calls here because we have some text messages you now we can start take some calls text message good morning jerry is it true that in the bible there's a passage that speaks to not coveting thy neighbor's ass please explain what that means yes don't covet your neighbor anything that happened don't want your neighbor things much less we're gonna try to get it take away your neighbor things not him wife don't covet your neighbor's car and don't want and bad mind and grudgeful and red eye your neighbor frying pan so if you're frying pan nicer than your own or nothing or his ox that i'm cow, you know when him take draw goods or when him take turn the mill for grind the corn Neither is ass that I'm jackass, you know. No one, no, neither I'm jackass, nor I'm genius. Jenny is the female donkey. Yes, there's a word, in the, there's a passage in the Bible. That says so. Don't grudge your neighbor donkey, because I look like him a more ass poor than your one. Next one, Jerry, what's the purpose of your program? Can you tell me? Oh, I forgot that you are not that bright, so you wouldn't know, because all you do is criticize and have no solution. That one coming from Sodom and Gomorrah. A text message from... A text message from hell. Uh, uh, Mr. Stewart, it's not a laughing matter. No, you can't laugh, you know. I mean, like, when you laugh. Yeah, For me, say, I have some space. Me say, make joke. Make joke. You know? yes. Me say, I have some space in your teeth. You could have laughed from now till the morning. For me, as far as me concerned. Um, next one. Mr. Small, do you think that Ellington was picked by the GLP administration because they secretly knew his leanings? No, it is not no secret about his leanings. His leanings, as far as I know. Meeting him as a young man, I know his leanings was towards the right. I don't mean right in, in terms of conservative as, as against left in terms of radical. You know. I think him always lean towards the right thing. You know, like how plants lean towards the sunlight. Most plants grow straight up, like this program, because the sun spends most time overhead. But there are some places where shady and it's only a certain time of day the sun reach those plants you find plants which grow lean anyway the sunlight is plants grow towards them so i don't know of ellington leaning outside uh, him seem like him lean towards the right thing and you know when you ride bike you have to lean into the corner you know not sure and if you have a pillion and the pillion heavier than you you better lean forward because unless the, the back seat high and the pillion are right. Me likes when the pillion and them ride high. I say, man, me not a boy lady pillion. I don't business no man, man pillion. When the lady pillion and them ride high, nothing no nice one. It just balance. But you still have to lean into the corner. Next one. Mr. Mr. Jerry, if you read the U.S. Embassy WikiLeaks report on Ellington, you'll see they have lots of dirt on him. Oh, I see. But it still seems to me like them are trying to balance it with Carl Gomes. Um, fall from grace next one jerry paul robinson was able to speak the languages of the people he met while on his world travel and he could speak several languages you know but i tell you the accomplishment that that man did next one jerry did you see andrew holness hanging with al miller La, um lavan and the other jlp pastor sunday i didn't notice who he was hanging with but i know that um i saw a picture of him there yes why Yes, I saw him. Yes, why? Next one. Hi, Jerry. What transpired from the reasoning at Scotch Pass on Sunday? I wasn't there. By the way, in the seventies, you know, the world, the Jamaica Council of Churches was so supportive of the government in power, the party in power, the PNP at the time. The Jamaica Council of Churches very supportive because the Jamaica Council of Churches in that time it was very radical and talking out about people, freedom and rights and so on. So they they were very much in line with Michael Manley's regime which was very much about freeing up people and advancing the people socially so true that now some people used to refer to the jamaica council of churches as the pnp at prayer you know like a kind of jive we say the pastor them are pnp but our pnp when them are kneeling and pray that's how we we'll run like a joke and we get like a joke out of life and all them kind of way you don't know that yes ma'am then hear this one now again now jerry yes 
I, Jerry, oh, morning, Jerry Small, is it a foolish thing to believe in oneself? No, not foolish at all. Believe in yourself that you are capable and you are, and it is possible for you to do good. But to believe in yourself, say so you are the source of all niceness. You see, any time a woman bossy over how she look, you know, say all of a sudden, me not see her again. Then, I don't know, then she just disappear. <laughs> the woman good looking at me get to look for her, you know. And then now when she bows her and cock it in, she just disappear like, like vanish in a smoke. I don't know what happened. So I don't see it. And it's when them humble, me just see them all the while. All when me gone down the room, I still see them. So that's the beauty about you, modesty. You know say you're nice. You believe in yourself. But you know that there's many other nice women. And they know, you know, say your source of your license is God. It's not make your bottom shape like white shape. Don't show up. You can show it, you know. But don't go on like it's you shape it. It's God design it. And him design some other, you know. Yeah. So you're just humble. You're nice. You know yourself, you know. But you're still, you're just arm um, Say, boy, I got God grace. You know, understand? I got making on a wrinkle, you know. Because many other women your age. Look for Miss Lagyard. Mm-hmm. Madame Lagyard. All her wrinkle where well, you lost. When you want to find wrinkle, when, when you want to find wrinkle, eh? When you lost wrinkle, you call Miss Lagyard, make you come to Jamaica. And yet, woman with wrinkle can still nice enough. Because them charming. The link wrinkle not stop nothing. So what happened to the line that has wrinkles? Yes, ma'am. It's a balance. All stretch mark. Thank you me. think stretch mark can't turn me off? No, it's natural. The natural. Lady. It's stretchable. Thank you. Very acceptable. And it and it go right back like elastic. Thank you. Acceptable it is. And slingshot. Thank you. Slingshot elastic, you know. <laughs> but you mustn't let it go too hard. It, it will sting you. It's, it's sting you. And uh, de- you have dental floss, you know. Yes. And you have patty floss. Yes. That's how when you eat patty, you know. When you eat patty, you use pat- patty floss. <laughs> <laughs> Some people mind in the, in the changing room. Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying no tiles, you know. Not changing room. Changing room is good. Tiles is good, too, but we're talking about the changing room. Changing. I wasn't talking about that kind of patty floss. Yes. But yeah, you know, it's always stray from the text message. But don't kill the messenger because you don't like the message. You, know, you can't do that. The question was, Mr. Small, is it a foolish thing to believe in oneself? No. But don't believe like it's you make yourself so nice. You are nice, but it's not make you so nice. Yes, I. So praise God. Every time I, I, see, nice, every time I see something nice, I praise God. So I say, boy, God can design, boy. Yes. Next one. Jeremy's son passed for Holland High. It's $120 or $1,200 for the package, $5,000 for the fee to be paid at the bank, and 5000 for registration, and this say educa- and they say education free. Where? I must see now Holland. I must say Holland education free, but not in Jamaica. <laughs> I didn't pass the Holland pass high now. Holland high. You can imagine how much I playing for here. Forget it. If the package of $5,000. A Holland high long Holland bamboo man. Nice place now. I have a restaurant right beside Holland high. Yeah, the, you know eat curry goat. No. You know eat no animal, no. but but for those who eat curry goat, I want the best place in Jamaica. And they know them sell things that is not meat, is not meat. So it's a good place, man. But we have to take um little human and um soft and some of the difficulties we have got through. Sometimes I have to send all my children go school without no lunch. And then I run up and down and find some lunch and reach up at the school. Before twelve. And it look away. Oh yeah, you yeah, run come in with, with you know, sometimes children, sometimes we have cook all, I tell them all every day, I fry this, some people fry flour fly, you know, that my children them just draw on one side and go up on that tree, and not shame them, shame you know, but people run them out too much, and people are search all you, you have all teachers search all picnic, um, all when you go to school you now. I go to school in Brownstown, I sent her, you know, and her two sisters have the school now. Them named Judah, Miss Judah, Miss Lottie, and Miss Grace, Miss Lottie Marga, you know. And Miss Grace fat, and now I asked if she can't eat, you know. And she are looking at her lunch box, and said, let me see what you have there then. But her hand, I move fast on her, her mouth, you know. But you see, once the hand reach, the mouth start move fast on her hand. Take care. I <laughs> mean, I'll make it up, you know. I never rehearse it, you know, but that's it. I saw it up, you know, so I said, no, tell you. Miss Grace. 
should go around, you know. She not spend too much time with you, you know. So when she sight the other one lunch, she says, you say, thank God. You have to say, thank God when she sight the next one yeah. lunch, you know. Because you know, say she left back little for you. So more time when she come on my lunch, but me, I say, look over there. Why <laughs> 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 well, I tell you, boy. Sure. When our, hey, God bless the teacher, them, man. A one and two teachers says this, or not. And, um, so hear me now. Yes, man. The phone call I've waited so long, I'm so sorry. Good morning. And welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes, Tafarian. Oh, I'm going. I'm here straight up, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, 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 the phone company, why do you still? The phone company, yeah. Yeah, them kind of lack little manners still, so. Yeah. They might just chop out the thing I did that way, because it's still, you see? Yes. Yeah, um, great day in a creation. True, true. Yeah, um, see the moon on um, Sunday night. What did happen? Um, no man, um, new moon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that mark, means, uh, that, that huh? mark, yes, that coming like it marked the beginning of July, although it was the 30th of June, although it was the 29th of June. The new moon, yeah, and them call it July, yeah. Yes, you know? sir. So that means uh, the Sabbath going to fall upon a Saturday then. Well, Sabbath, the word Sabbath, you know, means seven. Sabbath. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it means seven, it means every seven days. Sabbath means every seven days, you know. Yeah. So it's good to take a rest or a break every seven days. It's a very good formula, both medically, socially, spiritually. It's a very good formula. So the word Sabbath means seven. Okay. From a, from a, creati from a creation standpoint still. Yeah. Um, I just realized that um, most, most ones um, um, view the Sabbath on a Saturday. Yeah. So, um, creation has said the Sabbath on um, Saturday, yeah. presently. Yeah. And that hardly happened because it coincided with most of the general um, cup six a Saturday. And um, Bobo says sat there. Yeah. Most ones, you know, they sat there. So it's interesting to see what's going to take place because, you know, really you think to the most high. Yeah. You know, it's a coincide with, 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 with the world's view. Yes. Look here, make a reason some more about it no. later. We have a little pile up because of the program today. But, that, but the, the main thing, yeah. the day of the week that you celebrate your Sabbathan, don't matter. Sabbath means once every seven days. It's not a particular day, but most people stick past that. But it means once every seven days. It's a seven-day cycle. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Let's go for a break. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? All right. You know, tell me something. Your management our new stock and broadcasting commission, them listen to your program. Yes, ma'am, they do. Okay. Right. Uh, yesterday, yesterday morning when you are you know, you're opening, you, have, you mentioned the, the madam, the prostitute, and the, the pimp. What did I say about the prostitute? Uh, well, I know, you mentioned the madam, the prostitute, and the pimp. No, hear this now. Well, I know, man. No, I'm telling you to hold on. What well, did I... Know. Yesterday, man, you what? told me out No, hear this now. Hear this now. Well, hear this now. Take, me, Carl, this well, take that as a warning. I, I'm entertaining you. I, I like what you're calling now. Yeah. But take this as a warning. We're going to do it this way now. Mm -hmm. What did I say about the prostitute? No, I want to tell you what about the No, no, no. All right. Since you don't want to do it my way, I'm going to take the highway. Come, try one more try. Mm -hmm. What did I say about the prostitute? You said the prostitute and the pimp, um, uh, um, like that, take for their money. No, hear like this now. Hear this now. Hear this now. Hear this now. Mm -hmm. um, the prostitute is, treat, is cheated all the while. Our women are prostituted and treat, cheated all the while. Even Jamaican men do it. And one right now just get convicted for cheating, not only Jamaican women. Prostitutes and women are, 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 are you, you, hear, you hold on. No, what you are here to do is to try to pinpoint me to the broadcasting commission and Lagarde and to try that. So you're not going to do it at will. I am going to run this show here now. Are you yeah. going to? Will you go along with me? With, 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 with what? Let's next call. 
Good morning, welcome to Straight Up Hello. Morning, Jerry. Hey, how you doing, man? The voice there. You get me weak. Oh, really? No. And you, and you do it in on pur- you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry, I come right behind that caller. Trust you come behind her? Mm-hmm. You come first. You come first. Oh, okay, good. You come first. <laughs> Wait, name again. Thanks. Thanks for that. Look here. Yeah. I heard you talking just... You know, it's a me to come after. You come first. Good, good. Mm-hmm. Glad to hear that. I heard you just now talking about Holland High School. Yes, ma'am. But it's actually in Chulon, you know, I think it's... Oh, the my God. You know, it's the second time in month somebody for correct me from that. It's because I know... I know it's it's true, ma'am. Yes, all right. That's my it's near, district. It's near yes. to Holland Estate. Yes, the one... No, yes, Holland Factory. Right, the one you talked about. But the one that the man is talking about, I think it's in Chulon and not so far from... You know how I do for me? I mm-hmm. want you to find out what the name of the school in a Holland Bamboo name. Oh, I, 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 I don't think they have a high school in Holland, but it's a, it's a primary it's school. It's a primary school. That was what? Holland Primary. You know, say you could have, you could have, um, right. I would have eat out of your hand. I'm a little career of that man because I always eat at a little shop down there too. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, because that's, I'm from right in that little. Boy, you see it? I, as a talking, I remember, say just about two months ago, somebody have just straight me up about the same thing then. And then, then no, yeah. you're talking about the fear to go to Holland. Yes. I wish I could go. <laughs> yes. And you know, so you know what the, the you know what the airline for go on her name? Love is it Love Santa? That's a Germany man. Where you a KLM man. K- KLM. 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 Mm-hmm. Royal Dutch airline. Hey, one other thing, there, Jerry. I wanted to call you from the other. Day. May I try it? No, may I talk up on me? No, may I try to get something right in there? So I may push on KLM for you to get something KLM. right. A pure wrong may I get from man. Hey, I think so. I know of the airline, but truth be told, yes, I don't know. I know of it from way back when. I can't uh, limit me, man. The sand and the whole shebang. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but, you know, from the other day, I wanted to call it to just ask you about this song. Which one? Run, run, man, run. Run yes. for your life. Oh, you know, run. You mean, you mean Delroy Wilson? Is him singing? Run for your life and be a little knife. Run, yeah, man, you know run. Saying, look at the difference then. Yeah. Look at the difference then. You know, they were telling you, run for your life. Yes. Yeah. Now they're telling you how to shut out. And carry on. Also, y- also. Yes, yes, yes. You see? I drew man. Yeah, don't, don't confront him. Run. Don't bother getting to any side with him. Just go. Yes. But no, you know, they're telling you, draw your M16 on you. Yes, yes. You fly and fly out tomorrow and all Yeah, fly tomorrow, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, nice talking with you as usual. And I'm always enjoying your show. Yeah. Eh. I find it very educational, very humorous. Yes. And whatever, whatever. Mine make me drop asleep, you know. Uh, you are, no, no, not, not through boredom, you know. Me know, me hear you, Jerry. Under <laughs> hypnosis. <laughs> Don't remember a drip named Hypnotic? Eh? Them Bujo Banta not sing about none of the music, too, man. Oh, they really? They are Hypnotic, not true. Him not even a Red Bull again. All right. Or money okay, around. Come on, Jerry. Yes, Have man. a good day. Yes? And I'll talk to you again. Wait, eh? In any night? Eh? Right. I, I know where you hang out, you know, so I can't find you, yeah? I'm going to pull up my zip. <laughs> okay, <Jerry>. Goodbye. <laughs> Play something, because I'm going to laugh, man. <laughs> yes, more phone call. Jerry, I'm glad to hear you saying that all Jamaican pay for Jamaica and not just the Rastas. Of course not. All of Jamaica, we have paid for this. Especially African Jamaican. Next one. How old is Mr. Owen Elton? He is 50, 51 year old and 27 this month. I think he's 52. Next one. No, Jerry. Jerry Holland Heights in Trelawney, Marta Bray. Boy, I may tell me take back that. I take back that. It's true. Boy, I may tell you, man. Boy, I may tell you. But my heart not tough, you know. Yes, yeah, good morning and welcome to Street Up. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Welcome. Trust the man. Why you why you have all women, man? That one voice is so gorgeous. May I tell you, man? Although me come from Jackson Town and that's what I call tell that all of this is actually in Trelawney. Yes, yes, it's true. But top you just feel bad, you just take everything from Trelawney. So yes. remember see all the chapel where they cross on you, it's trying and get it from you know. Yeah, them take them take down them take down the brick them. Them take down the stone, them stone by stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. down by stone at Castle there and carry go, yeah. go go up there and make it. Yes, I drew man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 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 Tron is still a still a good place, and we even we even had a prime minister of Jamaica who was from Tron, and guess what? Yeah. He was a lady from Trelawney. That um, yeah. 
That's a who again? Shearer, man. Shearer, yes, sir. That's a ladies, man. Yeah, man. That's, that's, why, them a fi- that's why them take a fish gun and shot him in a, in a fall, you know. Because he knows him gone with all the girls, him, Shearer. All the girls, yes, yes. Shot yes. Shearer, him nearly dead, you know. Yes, shot him, him pierced him skull, you know. Pierced him skull, you know. Yeah, I was a in my late gun. teens at time there. Eh? I was in my late teens. I'm from Jackson Town. A Joe? Yeah, man. But where you have Clarkstone or where you have the JB. JB, a true man, the John Crow arm. The don't John say, Crow party. Don't say. Don't jo- say. John Crow I like, party. I like the woman with, 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 with that hot part, but yeah. that, that's it. And look here now. And them firm, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much for your correction again here, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up Hello. Morning. Welcome, Straight Up Hello. There. Morning. Yes, how are you doing, sir? Jerry, what are you going? What are you going, sir? Yeah, man. But you know, so I see Mota, I said, I said, boy, I called to him. Yeah. I said, who that? Yeah. I said, Bongo Jerry, man. You know, Bongo Jerry, I'm breaking his hill. Yeah. Yeah? And he hit me up, you know. Yeah. Yes, man. That's my name. Yeah. Hey, look here, Bongo Jerry. Yeah. This thing about Mr. Azan. Yeah. What is all the whole about, about the fact? He has spoken the truth. No. What is what? What is all the whole about whole about uh, Abu about it about what he has said for? What the halabalu? Yes, the halabalu. No, him lick out against the IMF yes. dictatorship over his cabinet and government. Yes. And it embarrass him. Um, it embarrass some of the government. It oh, embarrass yeah. some of it embarrass some of the people who are congratulating the government and staying to the IMF course. Yes. In other words, um, yeah. Jerry, yeah. what them do to me, them fling the stone in another hog pen, yeah. and whichever one it knock, what yeah. them say? Yes. Squeal. Yes. Good, so them squeal out, no anything like that. I have, I don't say absolutely nothing that Mr. Azan has said that is wrong. No, it's, it's, it's surprising, but it's, it's surprising, but it's a pleasant surprise. Not because you want to see the government quarreling amongst themselves, yes. but you are, you're, you're glad to see when somebody decides to talk the truth first. Yes. And then now uh, I'm take the consequence later. And then can't push us on around, you know. No, them can't push us. If them on. try to push us on around, them lose the whole upper up the region there. Exactly. Cause I hear say gangster for life. Yes. You have no strength without us on back, you know. Yes. And therefore he's a key man in that part of the island. Right. But hear this now. Yes. Mr. Chang. Yes. Very respected commentator. Me myself respect him. Yes. Um, alright. What, what, what Chang's name again? Uh, Horace Chang. Hor- no, no, Horace Chang, man. No, no man. The other oh, one. you think uh, so political, man? Uh, I talk about the um, me I talk about the business owner where, where he's also a, a commentator. Yeah, man. Him, him, yes, <coughs> the man. But he's a very, where, he's a very um, name slip me right astute up. um, commentator. Yes. But him now kind of spinning for Azan. Him saying maybe Azan was, because him criticized Azan first. Then after told him say, but maybe Azan was taken out of context. I'm open a loophole for Azan escape out of that. Yes. Because the the the, the comments kind of. Startling and embarrassing in the midst of mad of the madam visit. Right. You know the madam yes. visit. What you talk about her, Jerry? Don't you think that um is just some some kind of thing for us? Make her show her up and all that sort of thing. What what what, what was the sh- what was the show her up? Eh? What was the show her up? No, I mean I mean I mean them carrying her coming down here like she really doing no good for the country. No, she don't country. need no shoring up. If yes. they need shoring up, she come yes. here to shore them up. Exactly. But if you ask me what I think about her. Yes. I think she should stop wearing a tailored suit. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, a lady go and beg her a dance. Yes, yes. You understand me? Yes. Uh, I can't tell her about her wardrobe, but no. it, it, she wears some tailored some suit there. Yes, it's too, it's too masculine. And so it's, not too, it's not too masculine. You don't it's think only so. I would have looked on her longer if she, she'd have on something like Miss Stewart. Yeah, or when she have on no, that. I don't mean, I mean, like them kind of suit up. So but you, like well, you can't dress, tell her with it. I dress, the dresses and things, you know. Yeah, you can't tell her um, what to wear. No, you know. But she, she hold the purse string now. Yes. You have some people who are doing things she do. Yes. Like all some people said, the emperor knew clothes nice in the time the emperor. Yes. No have on not more than a jack strap, you know. Okay. And a card piece. Yes. And people are talking about how the emperor knew clothes nice. Because yes. if you say that now, you will get a promotion. Okay. You remember the story about the emperor knew clothes? The emperor? Emperor knew clothes. One time, you know, an emperor love, love dress up all the while. Yes. So some man now know say him vain and anything you tell him, him. So them they make some bad look fitting clothes and give me you know. Okay. And some people say, boy, clothes fit good enough. Them say, wait, I want to, you know what we do? We go, we go, we go, don't give him no clothes, but we tell him, say, I want expensive cloth. Yeah. And it's only wise people can see it. 
Yeah. So them put them put them take off all them clothes and them go wrong and them tape and like them and make clothes and him start naked you know? and him say yeah. see the new clothes nice and go out on the parade. Yeah. And him go out, oh, him go out the power heroes day. And everybody I say, Lord God Almighty. But the emperor new clothes nice, he got them on food feet. Okay. But one little boy you know, him just truthful, him coming like Azan. I must say Azan you know. Okay. Here the little, little boy when he Richard Azan say. Yeah. But the emperor know about no clothes where he go so. Yeah. And the mother box man said, shut up your mouth, boy. <laughs> and little, little, all the people start to say, but little boy say little while. <laughs> and people start to listen to Azan more and more and more till them say, wait. But you know, say Azan, right? I have a one and two spin doctor in there, say, hey, little boy now look right to you, man. Yeah. But anyway, time, time out. Here's something. Yes, one got that. Thank you very much. Until the philosophy, we turn one race superior, and another inferior. Until the color of a man's eyes is no more significant than the color of his skin. Of Who are those? What the language is tumbling down. Burn them down, burn them down. Yes, live our life. Um, what is about the music? That we have one minute. Yeah, you know, His Majesty make a speech about equal rights and justice, you know, because really and truly, when we say equal rights and justice, a lot of people vex, you know. We can't see the, we can't see the, the change upon them face when they start mentioning them words and them sound there. And enough people don't really want to work with them sound there. Yeah. But we feel like um, everyone deserves a fair chance towards being, you know, fair enough to show everyone that they have the same equal love among the same presence that we share which is equality you know so this tune is really about equal rights and justice you know me i say knowing that the higher self with the lower self the both of them balance because the head balance it too you know so we say equal glory for all of we you know equal justice and rights yeah man that sum it up that's great well we are we intend to have you forward here again examine some more of your works and you know reggae and, and is you know you are you are honored, I don't have to tell you, you are honored and honorable because it's most appropriate in the International Reggae Day, which was yesterday, but we're celebrating it today. In the boxing day of that, you are the present the artist because, as I say, medical records is about from your band come up, but medical status is about today, and you are the status, the reggae status. You are the reggae status symbol of the day. Bob Marley gone, and many gone, but it's today the status we are talking about. Thank you very much for having been here. Now, I want have a couple of text messages here. First one said, Don't pull up your zip. What can get out, can get can get up, can get out. Laugh and have a good day enjoying your pro enjoying your program. Oh, the person is enjoying the program. Yes, but that's what the lady says she know where I hang out, you know. She never said nothing about she know we spot me stand up, you know. She said she know where I hang out. I wasn't boasting. Was not boasting. And um have a happy no want I want to want to can get it, so take that. Next one, good morning Jerry, please say a big shout out to my daughter Moy Scott, she's graduating today from Pembroke called Primary and on to Meadowbrook High School. Tell her we love her and wish her a success from Mal and Dad and Shernet Mom. Meadowbrook High School is one of the great high school. So Moy Scott, you're well, you're well upon your way, may I tell you. Um, now, I want, we have one phone call, good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Uh, morning sir. Welcome. <laughs> Um, Mr. Lagarde? Yes, Mr. Lagarde. I think Lagarde. I heard a report that she's been investigated about something. I mean, I need to exactly figure out. That. She has been, that? yeah, she has been investigated and about several, um, several counts and several occasions of corruption and fraud over the years. But I mean, accusation is not guilt. But as right. PJ Patterson said, not because you get to have a criminal charge, that don't mean say you are squeaky clean. And not because you go to prison, mean you are squeaky absolutely dirty. You understand me? Yes. So, so these, these things will be up within organizations that she's been a part of. Yeah man, Minister of Finance in France. And using a lot of power to make friends get billions of dollars and all oh. kind of different things. Hanky panky. I can't tell you because. You don't ah, know that. Sir, thank you very much. If you look, if you look good, it's a good idea involved in a traffic war too. For what? those are European companies. Oh, and then kick back to Jamaica from the goal line.
then kick from the goal mode right over there and score a goal over there. So there was a goal, they score a goal. I saw them kick back hard. More time we just kick back to you now. Don't we kick back here right now? Yes, sir. Relax. But we not take no kick back. We get kick back. And when we're not in bribe, you know. No. Yeah, we just stop talking because this World Cup thing. At the top. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look here, I want to thank you, you know. I want to thank you, Leaf of Life. I want to thank Mr. Stewart. I want to thank my producer. Thanks for having Tanya me. Tanya Richards. I want to thank um, Shushani Daly. Hard working, um, and hard working production assistant, broadcast technician, Kevin Williams. And I want to thank um, first, Etana said we are not afraid. Like we have a, a minute of Etana. We're going to leave alive 10 seconds for big up somebody. Straight up, quickly. Yeah, I just want to big up the real brother, them we are all it seen. Big up Rastafari at first, you see it? King Slassia, Queen Amiga, the balance. Yeah, big up my mother. I know she listen to the program, Miss Rodella Ellis, my father, Philip McLeod, same way. My brother and sister, them, same way. Big up my community, Common Sense, Reddit's Road, same way, you see it? Big up Tony Rebel, Queen Africa. Big up Empress Stewart. Big up the real warrior. What you say, your mother name? Rhoda Ellis? Rodella Ellis, yeah. Oh, come in with Rhoda Ellis, you know? I'm a mother from Manchester. Oh, where I said to me? Yeah, man, I'm a mother, man. Rodella Ellis, I'm a mother. Look here, man, look here, man. Yeah, if you Ellis, know Martin how Ellis much, Ellis. if you know how much I love you, you wouldn't stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Phyllis Dillon says so, shit. Yes. So, big up my, my brother, them on the Orange Street, where I hold it. Iba with the spy, same way. The Ital Warrior, them same way. Grand Spen, Reddit's Road, same way. All who get big up, big up. Rastafari. Judy Moat, sister's chant. You don't miss me no road else. Sister's chant. <laughs> Marcia Griffiths is a survivor. This is our year, entire year of celebration of Marcia Griffiths' 50 year in our business. Straight up. Good afternoon, it's time for the Midday News here on News Talk 93 FM. I'm Errol Lee. Coming up in this newscast, Education Minister lords the Caribbean Maritime Institute and City Guild for Education and Training Partnership. Jamaica Teachers Association election ballots to be recounted. Health Minister to take on the abuse of hard liquor following success of the Tobacco Control Act. And Correctional Officers call on Commission of Corrections, Javine Bent, to withdraw her resignation.